Hello, everybody. What is up, Eddie and Eddie, and welcome to episode 7 of the Brighton Career Mode. And we have got a big game to cover the episode. We're going to be taking on Crystal Palace, obviously our rival. So this is the team we're going to slowly go with. A lot of change. Cho makes his debut at top, so really I'm excited to hear he's going to do for us. Unfortunately, fitness issues are a massive problem for us at the moment. Uh, we've got a big episode for you guys here today. We've got massive Europa League game um, in the round of 32 or round of 16 or whatever it is um and then we have got the likes of spurs which will be a difficult game but anyway let's get this game with crystal Palace. hopefully we can have a positive episode we had a fairly mixed episode yesterday last time in terms of results i love that stadium by the way there that looks really nice um i haven't actually seen that view yet but yeah um huge game here versus palace obviously one of our rivals Fingers crossed. Hopefully, we can manage to get a positive result. By the way, you might see two versions of Eddie's in this. So, you know, obviously, today's Eddie, which I'm recording this on the uh, Friday, and potentially tomorrow's Eddie, where I'm recording it on the Saturday. But anyway, let's go. Over that run being made here by Grass. Grass now going to try and then a Cho. Cho does really well. I'm not sure he pronounced that. I believe it's something like Cho. Cho does really well. The Frenchman playing it back as well for Solid March. In front of find Pedro is going to try and get the shot cleared away. Pedro now back off to Cho. Cho on the inside. Going to go with the shot. And a great opportunity there for us. Close there. Almost getting a goal in his debut. Chance here for Crystal Palace. Inside. Shot taken. And Palace with their first shot of the game. First goal. And is that Raksaiki with the goal? 1-0 Crystal Palace. A little bit against the run of play, even though the game hasn't been massively, you know, um, a chance create. Actually, no, it's a matter, sorry, with the goal. And, yeah, it's a great finish. 1-0 Palace. Chance here now. Gross on the inside with the strike. Good save. Corner kick here, March gets that ball in. Pedro! An instant response here from Brian Toon that been really good at. And this man has been vital to that in this series. 1-1, one, one, Jao Pedro. Let's go. Chance here, maybe for us. Cho, the Frenchman. Oh, he's done it on his debut. An unreal moment right there for Cho. The man in which I do a big faith for. Let me know your thoughts on this signing in the comments. I think it's a really smart signing. Play anywhere across the front three. But we've turned it round from 1 0 down to making it 2 1. Adringa creating the chance. And then Char makes the inside run and then gets in 1 on 1 down the keeper and beats uh, Henderson at his near post. Let's go 2 1 Brighton. What a turnaround. Half time. 2-1 Brighton after Palace taking the lead. Two quick fire goals from Jao Pedro. And show the goal. His first goal for Brighton. Really unchut for him. Let's go. Once again, going to try and cut in. Aiming it infield. Show for his second. It's a good save from Henderson. Oh, chance here. Cho into Adringa. Adringa with the strike straight at Henderson. Oh, another good chance. Are we going to regret to? Are we going to, you know, regret to miss these really good opportunities that we're having? Two on Palace. We beat. Uh, no, two one to Brighton. Sorry. Last time we faced Palace, we beat them two one as well. This game, though, I think I'm annoyed at the fact we should have honestly won this game about five one. Uh, we had so many good chances, uh, but yeah, it's still a great win, and we make it back-to-back -back wins in the Premier League. So happy, man. Come on, let's go. Okay, so down to a much trickier test. No disrespect to Palace, but obviously Spurs. A uh, really good team. Uh, I don't know if they all signed Tony Cruz in the same. Again, that's a pretty good signing for them. Uh, but anyway, let's get in this game here. Obviously, I always can try and be positive and see if we could try and win this game. We had a pretty bad past few episodes. We're well, not bad, but we've kind of dropped off a little bit. And I kind of want to climb the league table again. But anyway, that's the team side going. Obviously, a lot of changes in this game, which won against 2-1 against Palace. Let's get in this game here and hopefully we can beat Spurs. And to the Spurs. Good effort. Good save. Baku now coming forward here. Baku doing really well here. The German. Baku finds his base. Shot taken. And a good save Vicario. Right now into Encisio. Cross, Ferguson, and Sissio. 
Oh, lovely flick right there. Fatty and Sissio. Ferguson, chance for Brighton. And we lead here against Spurs. Evan Ferguson. Let's go. Come on. March. Sissio. Ansu, Ansu Fatty now, the good chance here, Ansu Fatty, come on, what you got for us Ansu, oh, I love that, nice fake shot, shot across goal, and a good save from Vicario, anyway, there we go, we tried to win the ball, Spurs run the back, but the half-time whistle does manage to save them, and honestly, uh, apart from the first 15 minutes, which we were very bad, uh, Spurs had a good opportunity, but we've been really good. Uh, let's hopefully that continues. Chance here for us now. Dahoud. Fatty. Good save. Ferguson. What a save again. I mean, not a save again. Sorry. A great block there from Royale. So close to 2-0. Shot there from Spurs. Great save from Verbergen. Yeah, we lose the ball around the back. Madison. Lovely feet work here from Jane Madison. Oh, he's offside. Spurs do score, but he disallows. And that is the perfect time to make some changes. Uh, I'm going to bring on Belaber to replace De Hood. Uh, Brunetto is going to come on to replace Matoma. And Yilmaz is going to come on to replace Estepinian. A debut there for Yilmaz. Uh, so, yeah, free chain for Brighton. Really worrying that. Oh, no. Oh, good block there from Dunk. Corner kick here to Spurs. Can we hold on for the final 10? Oh, it's a free header. And... Oh, frustrating. Richardson levels it. 1-1 one, one late on. Be the game. It looks like Brighton... Uh, could potentially be on the back foot here as Spurs come forward. Madison in behind. Emerson Royale. Back to Madders. Challenge there, Yilmaz. Oh, no. We can't get it that far clear. They're still coming forward here. Edge of the box. Shot from distance. Good save. And full time. 1-1. One, one. So, I can't pronounce this word. Someone's going to show you guys it. <laughs> uh, pr the Primilini round. Uh, hopefully that said right. So, we've got young boys uh, at home to begin with. Um, so yeah, let's go and take them on. This team decided to, nope, that's their team. This is the team we decided to go with. Uh, Brunetto, Pedro, Lamptey, we haven't seen for a while. Yilmaz gets his first start for the club. Let's go. And here, Brunetto. Oh, Brunetto, edge of the box, shot, save. Okay, carry the ball forward here. Belaba into Brunetto. Brunetto, the Argentinian, makes it 1-0 Brighton. Just like that, 13 minutes gone. Brunetto with the goal, being all over young boys. Belaba, Adelinga now on the ball. Oh, lovely footwork in the Ivor, and he goes across goal. Another good save. And the match will latch onto the rebound. Oh, no chance here for young boys. They're in and they've equalised for a mistake from us giving away possession. It's 1-1. One, one. Wow, just like that. Shout out Pedro. Adringa doing really well. Adringa, good save. There we go. Half time, 1-1. One, one. I don't know how this game's 1-1. One, one. You now runs with the ball into Pedro. Pedro now back heels it into March. Across Brunetto. 2 1 Brighton. He's second of the match. Let's go. Oh, great ball here. Jao Pedro. Pedro. Good save. Chanty Adelinga now coming forwards. The Ivorian again. Does really well. Oh, shot's just wide. Adam Wharton's going to come on to replace Belaba. Oh, no chance here. Doing really well. Young boys now down the left side. Chance infield. Oh, well done there, Modder. And young boys are giving away in the edge of the box. Oh, poor from us, though. And that should be that, Rev, and it is. 
We should be a we should have won this game about 5 1. But anyway, there we go. Good win. Is the next game of the episode here against Sheffield United? Um, it could actually be an interesting game because Sheffield United are obviously not one of the best teams in the league. I think we all are well aware of that. They are in the bottom three in this career mode. But I feel like every team that you face represents its threat. And that is extremely loud. Sorry about that. But anyway, here we go. Let's go take on Sheffield United. And fingers crossed, hopefully, we can pick up a win. Let's go. Chance here for us into Ansu Fatty. Fatty on the edge of the box with the strike. And it found its way in. Six minutes gone on the clock. We make it 1-0 to Brighton. And Ansu Fatty with the goal, who I absolutely love. However, I don't think it's realistic signing him permanently. But he's still going to be key to us for the rest of this season. And yeah, great goal man to Fatty. Great play ball there into him. And it's a brilliant shot across goal into the arm corner. Poor goalkeeper maybe. 1-0 Brighton. Brown Traore. Try and close him down. Edge of the ball. Sheffield United with the strike. And it found its way in. It's 1-1. And Patterson Dacker with the equaliser. Just like that. The Blades have levelled it here at Brewer Lane. 1-1. Evan Ferguson going to try great space. Ferguson trying to get the shot off the block. Uh, Encicio blocked again. And it's cleared. Cross. Matoma now. Matoma go for the strike. Block falls to Ferguson who hits it. And it finds its way in again. It's 2-1 Brighton. Uh, one and eight game. This is so far two one Brighton. Oh no, chance here for Sheffield United, and it's a crucial save there. For Van Bergen should be two two. Really good save. Chance here for Sheffield United. Ball up far right side. It's the pinion as well. As if it's Sheffield United, I'm going to sneeze as well. But we do manage to win it back. And half time at 2 on Brighton. <coughs> That's a good ball in. And it's a free header in the middle from Sheffield United from the set piece. And Dakar at it again. He's been the main threat in this game. And Sheffield United have not given up here. 2-2. Two -two. What a game. Thomas sees Gloss now. Gloss now down the right side. Pascal Gross, tees up Matoma with the strike, blocks, rebound, 3-2 Brighton, what a mad game, fantastic game here, we are not giving up, and we want to win here, come on, who does brilliantly into Ferguson, Ferguson now, chance, post, so close to making uh, advantage by two goals, so close, Ill chest, hit, good block, Chance here for the Blades. Chance here. No. Okay, they've still got it. They play them on the inside shot. No. Oh. <laughs> oh, my days. That is the biggest, like, oh, my. Wow. I thought they were going to give a penalty right there, but it's not been given. Oh, my days. What a game. Veltman, get rid of it. Wow. 3 2 Brighton. Wow. What? Okay. 3 2. What a win. Come on. Let's take on Young Boys. Uh, tight game last time we played them, but we should have won by more. This team decided to go with Lalana and Milner post start. Um, yeah, loads of changes you guys can see here. Let's get this game to Young Boys and hopefully could try pick up a win here. Um, yeah. Come on, Brighton. Comes for us, Milner. Definitely not the quickest, but in terms of. Technical, he's quite good into Pedro. Jao Pedro, shot blocked. Oh, it's going to fall to Lalana. Lalana hits it. Great strike there, Madam Lalana. 1 0 Brighton, and that surely is through. Come on, let's go. Milner plays a good ball out wide. Jao Pedro, Pedro now, left side. Back to Milner. You know, we're going to go with this one with James Milner. Oh! What a finish from James Milner. Despite retiring at the end of the season, both players that are leaving at the end of the season and retiring have both scored in Milner and Lallana. What a two great goals as well. They've still got it. Let's go. Try and 
try and get his ball in. And aim for Milner with the header, and it's wide. Well, to nick it off the defence, bring it through, Lalana, chance for three, and he's hit the bar, rebounds, 3-0, 3-0 and scores, Lalana should have a break, but João Pedro, 3-0 Brighton, great performance. Adam Lalana! I, I, Adam Lallana and James Milner take a bow. Time at 4-0 Brighton. Wow, fantastic. We're going to make some substitutions, <laughs> you know, because I just don't know. We're going to take off to Hood. We're going to bring on uh, Mullins, the youngster. And we're also going to bring on Hinshelwood to replace Gilmore. Uh, I know the game isn't over, but it is. They need to score five goals, which hopefully we can see five goals, but a couple of changes. And, yeah. Trying to be young boys. Iden deliver the balls in. Header. 1 4. Uh, constellation for young boys. Their first real chance of the game. Oh, Lalana nicks off the defence. Infield by Mullins. Back to Lalana for the hat trick. Rebound. Oh, what a save. Trying to be young boys in the final minute. Of any time, and they've missed an absolute sitter. But anyway. What a win this is. I'm annoyed that we conceded. Like I said, we've been recently, we've been struggling to obviously keep that clean sheet. Seeing a little bit too many for my liking. But we've got back to our old goal scoring selves. And um, yeah, 4-1 Brighton. Great win. Okay, so in the round of 16, we take on Union uh, Stad. Uh, I can't remember what the rest of it is. But yeah, so let's go and check on the Premier round. See if there's any shock. Baraga beat Villarreal. Um, any other shocks, really? Not really. Obviously, Rome beat in um, Benfica. Liverpool narrowing it against Galatasaray. If anyone's interested in how the group stages went, I uh, would quickly go through this. Uh, but, yeah, honestly, really I'm enjoying uh, and really happy where we are at the moment in the table, um, you know, in the Premier League and in the uh, Europa League. And I think to make it through round 16 is very exciting. But anyway, we got a game against Everton. Let's get into it. Okay, so we've got our final Premier League game of the episode, but our final game of the episode, we do have a game against Bristol City in the FA Cup, but we're going to be taking on Everton here. This secret team we decided to go with, um, yeah, very happy with the team, pretty much the team I wanted to go with anyway. Uh, maybe I'd like Sharp Pedro in there, in Zerbuneto, but yeah, anyway, let's get in this game versus uh, Everton, and hopefully we can do well here. Zerbuneto into Ferguson, Ferguson now. Here for us, Gross, Ferguson, Buoneto, the Argentinian. Oh, it's a good save from the goalkeeper. Out wide again, Danjuma. Bogwoski in behind the onside, Danjuma. I'm not sure. I didn't think he was, but apparently he is. Good save, keeps. Time, nil-nil. Really well. Ferguson to Buoneto. Buoneto's got space to run into. Sees, Mar uh, sees Ferguson, sorry. Ferguson now going to go for it. Good save from Pickford. Our first real chance of the game. Good save from Pickford. March here into Cho, teen it up. Bonetto, chance shot blocked again. March, Bonetto, chance here for the Argentinian. Again, he's deflected in. And Brighton have scored late on. Come on, Bonetto, with the goal. Let's go. Come on. Okay, Cho now could on the left side. We played the added time shortly now. That's the win for us. Is that it, ref? Referee, blow your whistle. Yes, come on. What a win. Come on, big win, Brighton. Let's go. Okay, so we've got Bristol City now in the FA Cup. However, I'm going to do something that's probably a bit more interesting. I'm going to promote a youth player, which I've been wanting to turn 16 for quite a while. Sergio Blanco. He looks like an absolute baller. Um, you know, I just want to go and have a proper look at him now, see what if he's got a trait on him. An exciting prospect. Love that. I don't like them to have like low kit numbers youth players, but I just don't think it's... Right, so I'm, I think I might give him like 41, no, uh, I don't know, I don't know what kit number, 47 maybe. Um, I'm in two minds what to do about this game against Bristol City, um, I don't know whether to play it or sim it, Blanco actually is going to make a start. I think I might give play highlight to go and see how that goes, because this has been a lot more of a longer episode than I thought, um, and obviously... Time. So um, yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna quick we're gonna do play highlights for this game here because I don't want to sim it and I don't want us to you know to not play it. So 
We're going to test play highlight and, yeah, see how it goes. Penalty to Brighton. Uh, not Brighton. <laughs> Bristol, sorry. Okay, Harry Cornick. Come on, McGill. Come on. Come on. Come on, McGill. I'm going to go right. 1-0 oh. Bristol City. Uh, moving the ball around. Adam Wharton in field. Chance maybe Cho might be able to turn. Can he shoot? Yes, he can. And we level it. Let's go. Come on. 1-1. One, one. Here. Play on. Um, okay, come on, come on. Can we defend this one? Can we defend it? Coming forward. Ball on the inside. Chance. It's Cornick. They do manage to find their way in. And Bristol City have made it 2-1. Cross the opportunity for us here. Lay on. Oh, no, we have made it 2-2. What? Okay, for some reason, they just skipped out. That's, I don't really like these highlights, to be honest. I don't really like them. I don't know what you guys think. Okay, we've got another chance here. Long cross here. Full time. We managed to win this game 3-2 here. Honestly, the play highlights is so broken. We didn't see any of the... Some of the goals. We only seen the one. Um, are they going to show the match highlights? Uh, no. Okay, so, yeah. We do manage to win, though, against Bristol City. Let's go. Wait, a massive thank you to your guys' continued support. And in the last episode, you guys absolutely smashed your support. Let's keep it going. So, we end off the episode in 7th in the league so far. 4 points off Newcastle and, f and 7 points off Spurs and 8 points off Manchester United. I haven't really shown the bottom of the league table. So, Luton currently rock bottom along with Burnley, Sheffield United. Bournemouth down there along with Wolves and Palace. Uh, but it looks like it's going to be between Wolves, Bournemouth, Sheffield United, Burnley, Luton. Anyway... Excuse me. Thank you all for watching. Um, hopefully you guys will have a great rest of your day. Um, take care. See you all soon.